happy Sunday. Welcome to Coffee and a Card. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts and I go live every Sunday for, for Coffee and a Card where I make three projects using Stampin' Up! product. And today is fun on top of fun. We've got the cute little, um, this little piggy stamp set and the pigment sprinkles, two of my favorite things that are retiring. So I had to play with them before they went away. You guys are awesome. Let's go ahead and show you guys the projects we're gonna be making today. I had so much fun playing with these pigment sprinkles and these piggies. They're just a ton of fun. So again, the projects are gonna look backwards and I apologize for that. I did try to um, change the view and Facebook went crazy. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, so here is our projects. We're using the um, this little piggy stamp set. I'm also throwing in some of the Crafting Forever and the pigment sprinkles and the COVID-19 give back. So if you guys checked out the COVID-19 give back, the PDF, it comes with a ton of pages of super fun COVID related um, quotes and things for cards. I used it on my Bunko. Um, I also am using it on today's project. So you're going to love this. I did put a link on the project sheet to the COVID-19 give back. You can always um, go and sign up for that. It's 12 bucks for that huge PDF and you can use it over and over and over and print it as many times as you want. And it's just awesome. Okay, so this first piggy, he's dancing with scissors, which I know is super dangerous. Yes, exactly, Janie, pig mints. That's why I combined pigments and piggies. So this first one, our little piggies dancing with scissors and it says, we are cut out to be friends, which is absolutely perfect. I just needed a fun little lift me up card for um, my friends and I think this is gonna be a great card to send. And I love that the pigment sprinkles just add this really bright, fun background, okay? Then we have our little piggy rolling in the COVID-19 mud. <laughs> this is colorful mud using pigment sprinkles. I thought this was very creative. And the sentiment says, do something creative every day. Well, our piggy, he's doing something creative. He's rolling in the COVID mud <laughs> and the pigment sprinkles and spreading color, which I thought was super cute. And inside I used one of those COVID-19 sentiments that says, spread joy, not germs. Because, you know, it may look like he's getting dirty and germy, but he's not spreading any germs. He's spreading joy because he's so happy in that little pigment mud. How cute is that? I love the little splatters that this does. So that's really fun with pigment sprinkles. You can create these little splatters. So I will show you how to do that. And then this last one, I absolutely love the sentiment, this little piggy. And I wanted to use it to um, go with one of the COVID-19 um, sentiments. So it says, this little piggy says, there's no place like home for now, which I think is so cute. So of course I had to make a little pig pen with the all wired up um, stamp, I embossed that, and then I created a little house for our little piggy. So he is safely staying home today, um, but he's so dang cute. I can't wait to show you guys this fun card, okay? So we're gonna get messy, um, but we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get little little piggy, piggy pigments. Okay, okay, so for our last card, we have this cute little piggy in a pen. He's in his little, little home telling everybody to stay home and stay safe. We are going to be using the Stamparatus for this one because I use my clear plates for my large um, stamps. And this uh, all, wire, all wired up is actually staying, it's not retiring, but the extra plates are. So if they're not sold out already, <laughs> I will be stocking up on these because I like to store my full size stamps on them. I have every single full size stamp on a clear plate. Now you can always switch them out. You don't have to have extras. I just like to have them on plates all the time as it's just more convenient. Um, so then you're going to take a piece of that shimmery white cardstock. I cut this down to four by five and a quarter. I've marked where I want my paper to lay, okay? just to kind of keep it straight. I am going to take my embossing buddy and spread it around just to get the extra stuff off. All right, embossing buddies and Stamparatus plates are going away. So heads up on both of those things. All right, 
Now we're going to ink up the, the stamp with the Versamark ink. And I'm going to be embossing with gold embossed powder so that the wire is metallic like chicken wire would be in real life. All right, so I've got my paper lined up and now I'm just going to stamp it. Ooh, Evelyn, that would be a good idea. You can totally do that, absolutely. Alrighty, so now we've got this stamped. We can take it off and move this. We're all done with the stamp apparatus. We'll clean that off later. Now it's time to do the embossing. So I've got my gold embossed powder and I'm just going to pour it over my chicken wire carefully because the wire goes all the way out to the outside edges. We've got one side here which will hide with the house. One side that has a little bit of extra powder, but it will be hidden. Okay. So let's go ahead and heat set this. I'm gonna use my piercing tool to just kind of hold it in place. I think I got it all. Let me double check, make sure everything looks shiny. Yep, looks good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to pigment sprinkle the heck out of this. And I just am gonna use some more paper towels. You can never have enough paper towels. So I used the Granny Apple Green and the Bermuda Bay for this one. And um, I used the Bermuda, Bermuda Bay for the sky, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some. Come on. Okay. And then we got the Granny Apple Green for down here. We want the bottom to be green for grass, this blue for the sky. Okay, and I'm just gonna take that spritzer again and just kind of Spray around. And one of the things that I did was I, on this one, just started quickly blotting because I didn't want the blue to be too strong, so I started removing color right away, okay? So this that's kind of how I got this effect. As soon as I started doing it, you guys, I saw a mermaid's tail. Do you guys see the same? Doesn't that look like fish scales and a mermaid fin? It did to me anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so that's it. That's it for that. And it's lighter because I blotted off a lot of the color, okay? So you can always add more if you feel like it's too light, you can keep blotting, um, you can add more water, things like that. But this is kind of that what I was going for. So now we can let this set aside and dry a little bit as we do our piggy. So I have another piece of shimmery white cardstock. This is shimmery white cardstock because we got it wet and we used pigment sprinkles. This is shimmery white cardstock because we are going to stamp the little piggy in stays on black ink. And we are going to color using pigment sprinkles. I was able to get this pink pigment with the pigment sprinkles. So what I did was I put a tiny little speck, like you don't even need a lot, a tiny little speck of the Melon Mambo and a lot of water from your Aqua Painter. Lots and lots and lots of water. And you can color your piggy. And you're gonna get a pink, a light pink. To color your piggy. Now, if you feel like your piggy is not pink enough, you can always add more pigment sprinkles. 
If you feel like it's too pink, you can add more water and tone it down. Gotta get his little tail. Okay, there. So you have a pink piggy just by using the pigment sprinkles as like an aqua, aqua, like a watercolor. Okay, now I am going to color his little hooves black again. And yes, we do have to cut him out. I also did little rosy cheeks with the Florida Flamingo again, but I'm gonna do that when it's dry. I think it will be all bad if I do it while it's wet. So let me go ahead and dry these two pieces. Okay, so flirty flamingo little pink cheeks, cute. I think I must've used the light last time. Let's see if I can tone it down a little bit. Nope, they're gonna be bright pink cheeks. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna fussy cut our little piggy out. And he's pretty quick too. He's not hard to cut either. I think the hardest part is cutting around his little tiny tail. Okay, so we've got our little piggy cut out. We'll try the color lifter and see if that helps <laughs> helps tone down his pink cheeks. Who knows, I could be making it worse. But we'll see. Oh, how strange. I feel like it's taking away the pink from his nose. Hmm. Weird, okay. So now we've got our piece here and we're gonna glue this down to the Bermuda Bay base. And I'm gonna use Terran tape again because again, all my paper's really warped out. I love that song, Janie, cheek to cheek. Makes me think of the movie Green Mile. I love that movie. Okay, so we are going to peel this off. Piggies and pigment sprinkles, two of my favorite things, come together for some messy, bright, fun projects. All right, so we've got our pig pen. This is our fence, right? Keeping our little piggy in. <clears throat> oh, so this is an important part. So this is that sentiment, there's no place like home for now. And we're gonna stamp the this little piggy says. So remember how I told you I did surgery and I cut my pig? This is the sentiment that goes under the pig that I cut, this little piggy. And then one of the sentiments says, says thanks. So this little piggy says thanks. Well, I just want the says part because then I'm gonna say there's no place like home. So I'm gonna stamp it in Sahara sand. This one was in basic black. This one is, I think, Sahara sand. Um, when you print it out, it comes in lots of different colors. So I'm just gonna try and match this one. Rather than print another whole page of these, I thought I'd use up what I have. So trying to line this up. It says this little piggy. Sahara sand matches up pretty nice, so that's good. And then I'm just going to ink up says. And if I get it on everything else, I will use my baby wipe and kind of wipe off the excess. You can also use a Q-tip if you have a Q-tip. And I'm gonna just stamp says. This little piggy says, there's no place like home for now. Cute, cute saying. Now I cut that out and then I cut a piece of granny apple green to mat behind it. So we're gonna just glue that down and it would all matter about how, you, you know, the size matters about how you trim down your sentiment or, you know, so rather than give you a measurement for that, I'm just gonna say glue it to a piece of cardstock and then trim it down. <laughs> so this little piggy says, there's no place like home. 
for now. Okay, now to make this little house, I took a piece of crumb cake and I took the pine wood planks embossing folder and we're gonna emboss it so that it looks like wood. So I have the pine wood planks embossing folder. We're gonna put this piece here. Emboss that real quick. We've got that pine wood look and we can glue that down here now um, I'm gonna trim this just a little bit because I don't want it to be so wide we'll glue that down just glue it to the end of that chicken wire cardstock Okay, and then we have our roof, and I just did this at an angle, and I did it as low as this point goes. So I wanted it to cover the end, and I wanted it to cover that point, but I didn't want it to go any higher than that. So I'm gonna glue this down, and then we'll trim off the excess. Like so. And since I already glued it down, we just gotta be careful when we trim, okay? And then for his little, for the little doorway, all I did was took a piece of this basic black and I'm going to round the corner. You can use a corner rounder punch, you can use your detailed trio punch. You just need one corner rounded. And I do want to trim this down as well a little bit. So let's just cut. I don't know, about about that. <laughs> Those, there's my measurements for you, just about that. So we're gonna do a little black piece. Okay, so we've got our little window, our little doorway here for our pig pen. And then of course we gotta put him up on some dimensionals. Did you, Feline? Yay! I'm glad you like today's projects. Pigment sprinkles are fun, and Cindy and I vow that even though they're getting rid of them, we're gonna keep using them, keep crafting with them. We love them. And then we put our little sentiment up here. There's no place like home. Cute, cute, cute. I love this. Doesn't it look like a fun background? It's bright, it's vibrant, it's happy. And what a cute little card to give to a friend right now during COVID. Now, I did put a link to the COVID-19 give back. Um, you can go buy the, the PDF um, printout. It's $12. It's going to a good cause. 100% of the proceeds go to, um, uh, there's two choices of a charity. Um, so you can donate and get that awesome PDF and send out some fun cards. So I hope you guys liked today's projects. I hope you had fun playing with these little piggies just like I did. And uh, yeah, now I have some really fun little piggy projects to send out to friends. So thank you guys so much for another fabulous week. Don't forget about all the goodies and things that I have um, this month if you have any questions. A lot of the things that I talked about today are on the PDF, um, the, the project sheet. So you can go print that off. It's on my blog, okay? Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that share button. Bye-bye.